Hey everyone, welcome to my new video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about ransomware. Well, specifically one example of a major ransomware attack that happened that I feel like talking about in more depth. If you don't know what ransomware is, go check out my last video where I talked about what are viruses and I did briefly mention ransomware in that video. But to really summarize ransomware, it's basically just a virus that asks for crypto or any form of money and steals it without refunds, essentially just robbing you digitally. One example I really want to mention is the WannaCry ransomware attacks, which I did briefly mention in that same video, but I thought I'd go more into depth with this one because it's still really interests me, honestly. But basically, WannaCry or WannaCrypt is a ransomware attack that basically happened all over the world and affected Microsoft Windows computers. Well, mostly people using older versions that had already reached their end of support date, while people using newer versions already had the patch. Thanks, Microsoft. But anyways, these were ransomware attacks that encrypted all of your files, essentially, and tried to basically beg for money, cryptocurrency specifically, if you want to decrypt your files, essentially. But in reality, they're just stealing your money, and they won't do anything about your files, because they don't give a crap about your files. They just give a crap about money. The perpetrator? Oh, I don't know, some sort of fire in my laser. Seriously though, the perpetrators were Lazarus Group. They were the ones behind it, but they're classified as an anonymous group because none of the suspects behind these ransomware attacks were ever identified because they come from North Korea. Well, duh. So what was the damage that caused? Well, all I gotta say is 300,000 computers were destroyed across over 150 countries as a result of this ransomware attack, and it caused up to 4 billion US dollars in damages. And the amount of files lost are probably exponentially more, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but still, the perpetrators remain at large. And if that group had ever spent that money, which probably they have by now because this incident happened in May of 2017, no one knows where that money went since it came from North Korea. So what can we learn from this? Crazy, crazy, hey, My suggestion is that if you install any type of software, make sure it is secure and not shady. And if you accidentally do install a shady software, make sure you don't accidentally open it and get infected with any type of virus, ransomware, or anything. And all also, this is very important, make sure you thoroughly check emails, phone calls, text messages, and even, yes, I'm serious, social media replies, posts, and comments or mentions. Because with the rise of AI, viruses can spread even easier. And most importantly, make sure your Windows version is up to date or your antivirus is up to date. Because it will most likely detect said ransomware virus and protect you immediately. It'll make your life on the internet much safer. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Stay safe out there. <coughs> <coughs> Subscribe today.